Hi everyone. Okay, so today I have a haul for you guys and um, I know I haven't done a haul in a while and that's just because I have been saving my money. I haven't really been splashing out a lot. And because it's quite a small haul, it shouldn't take that long so um, hopefully I don't drag it out longer than I should do. I'm going to just jump straight into it and start off with the makeup that I've bought recently and um, I think it was about a week ago um, I went to Tesco's and I was just looking through the makeup bit and just seeing what's new. I heard Sammy from Beauty Crush um, talk about the Maybelline Fit Me powder um, so I automatically wanted to try that out because I have been looking for a good kind of setting powder um, recently so I thought I'd try it out. And this is what it looks like. And at Tesco it was... God, I can't remember. I think it was about £5. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong then I'll write a little annotation. But um, I don't think it was that much. Um, I got it in this shade um, 125 Nude Beige. And so far I'm really, really liking it. This is what it looks like. Ooh, it looks like this. Um, as you can tell, I am pale. The finish of it's very kind of silky and it's not a heavy powder at all and it just sets your makeup and doesn't make you look cakey which that's what I like. Um, underneath it has a big mirror and then a little powder puff in this little compartment here. So yeah I got that and then also I bought a lipstick because I saw that they were again like knocked down from the normal prices um, at Tesco. And it's one of the Kate Moss matte lipsticks. Um, by Rimmel in the shade 107. They don't have names. Ooh. And I have been wearing this non-stop since I bought this. I think I've worn it pretty much every day. Not every day. Every other day. Um, this is what it looks like. It is this gorgeous, gorgeous kind of um, matte burgundy kind of it slightly looks kind of pinkish on the lips when you wear it as a stain. I love wearing it kind of just dabbed on. And because it's matte, I thought that it would dry my lips out, but it doesn't. So um, I was really impressed with that. So yeah, I picked those two up from Tesco. And then I also went into Superdrug. I picked up three nail varnishes because um, over all of Superdrug, I think it's the same with Boots as well, but um, they have like a 3 for 2 deal going on. They always have those 3 for 2 deals. But um, this time it was kind of over everything, which it normally isn't over a few of them. I know it's normally not over the Essie nail polishes, but it was this time. And the first ones I got were from Barry M. And they are two glitter nail polishes, and I am obsessed with these. Um, they are so beautiful. Okay, so the first one I got was the one that I'm wearing right now. And it is um, 349 Rose Quartz, and it looks like this. It kind of has like rose gold or pinky glitters in there. And all of the finer glitters are like bright and holographic, like multicoloured. And it just looks so nice, especially when it hits the sun because it just looks amazing. And I am, and I am wearing it over Nubar's gem. And that's what it looks like. And the glitters actually go on um, quite well. You know when some glitter nail polishes kind of go on a bit, like, PC? This one kind of does that, but um, you only need, like, two layers of it to get, like, a really nice glittery nail. And then the other one that I got was Amethyst 354. And just please look at this. Just just look at it. That is beautiful. It has like all of the kind of jewel tone glitters in there. This is so pretty. And this goes on um, really well as well. It kind of goes on more opaquey. With both of these you do have to kind of put down uh, base polish before it like I have with the new bar one. So I love these two. They are just so pretty. And then the next one is an Essie nail polish and this is um, one that I saw Ingrid wearing or Miss Glamorazzi. I saw it on her Instagram and I was like I need that. And it is in Bahama Mama and um, where's the thing? Dark plummy burgundy kind of full autumn colour. <laughs> I'm so 
so bad at explaining. I love this colour. I can't wait to wear it. I've just been dying to wear this. Um, but I have got this amazing glitter on my nails at the moment. And all three of these came to um, £10. And then I got a pound off um, using 100 of my Super Jug points. So um, they came to um, £9 altogether. And I think that's so good to use one of these on its own is like £7.99. Um, I'm not sure how much these two were. If it's three for two, then I don't know. I couldn't work out that math. So that was a good deal, whatever. Um, oh, I've got something in my eyeball. Get out. Holy guacamole, what is in my eyeball? Please get out of my eyeball. Well, enough with that. Okay, and then I went into H&M, which, um, H&M, H&M, same diff. I found this skirt and it was literally fate. I tell you, it was fate. Um, so I went into H&M, just kind of not looking for anything, just kind of having a browse, and um, I saw this skirt, and it was the only one, and it was in my size. And I've been looking for one of these kind of skirts for, like, a long time. I've been looking at the ones at Topshop, which are, um, I think about £18 um, for these kind of skater skirts. Um, but I saw that H&M's just started doing them. Um, so I was really happy. And this is what it looks like. This is gorgeous dark red burgundy colour, which burgundy has become like my favourite colour of all time, as you can probably tell by the burgundy nail polish and the burgundy lipstick. Ah, Whoa, well, this nail polish is actually exactly the same. That matches perfectly. Well, it is in a size... What, did I, what size did I get it in? It was in a size 8 and um, it was 12 99 That is so good. I was so happy with that. 12 99 for an amazing, like, high quality skater skirt. It's got a nice zip at the back, as you can see. Um, I am in love with this. It just floats really nicely. It's quite um, heavy, so it's not really going to, like, fly up in the wind or anything. Um, let's hope. Um, I really wanted it in black, but apparently they sold out really quickly, which I can tell why. Yeah, but I love this so much, and it was the only one on the rail. It's coming out quite bright red on the camera, but it is more of like a dark burgundy colour. Like, I don't know. It's kind of more that colour, like in the background. Anyway, so I placed an order with ASOS. ASOS. I always get so excited when I like order things online and you're just waiting for it and um, especially with ASOS because I know their delivery is really really quickly quickly? <laughs> their delivery is really really quick plus it's free delivery if you did not know that which is even better so I made an order with them <sighs> when was it? I think it was either Friday or Saturday Today is Monday and it came today. I love all of their stuff and I know it's all high quality and yeah. So I ordered two beanies and um, they are the ribbed boyfriend beanie. And I just need these for like winter because my head gets cold and I love the way beanies look so I got two. And they were only 7 99 each which is pretty good. I think that's the same price as something like H&M would do and much cheaper than like somewhere like Topshop or Urban Outfitters would do. Anyway, so the first one I got just was black and as you can see it's like got the ribbed kind of stitching and these are what they look like. And I did tweet about this like which colours should I go for um, at the weekend so um, I did get quite a few responses. Thank you to people who responded and um, helped me with my decision. So I got the dark red one as well. Um, it's coming out a lot more red than, yeah, it's about that color red. <laughs> this one's a lot more structured than the other one. Like, I don't know, the fabric kind of feels a bit more. But this is what this one looks like. Ooh, hello, tag. Yeah, there also was a, a like oatmeal coloured one. So yeah, I love these and they're definitely going to keep me warm for the winter. So that's it. That is it for my haul. My hair's probably a mess now. I'm sorry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope it wasn't too long. Probably worse knowing me. But um, yeah, um, remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I have been tweeting a lot recently. I don't know. I'm kind of getting into the Twitter kind of thing. 
Um, so I've been obsessed with tweeting recently, I don't know, especially about X Factor. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr, I don't really use Tumblr that much but you know. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Friendship never ends, woo! If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends, mm hmm Off you come, my little friend. I'm not gonna say burgundy because I'm gonna start hating the word burgundy in a minute. Oh wait, I've just said it twice. Why are words not coming out properly? Are you ready? Are you ready for love? Woo! Yes I am. Are you? So today I have a um, haul. <laughs> that was a bit dumb. Saving mine. Uh, bleh. Sorry if my hair is really annoying. Stop moving. I just burped. Pardon me. But it's called Bahama Mama. Bahama Mama. Bird. My fringe is doing my nutting.